What? The actual flying fuck was that? The fuck was that? What does Intrepid think they're doing? Ashes is doomed. How are we gonna fix this shit? Well, how are we gonna do it? Sir, we have analysts working on the footage right now to see what we can come up with. Stat. It damn well better be. What are we working with? Somebody pull up the footage. Sorry, I think I came in a little late. Let me present the footage from the last devlog so we can all see what we're talking about. Skip to 11 minutes, 43 seconds, and pause. Everyone noticed what I did, right? This is going to destroy the game. All of the naysayers are only going to be talking about this for the next month. Steven team really took a shit on this here. Go ahead, I'm sorry, play with These, like, these little birds just spawned right <laughs> near me, and they're, like, eating on the ground. If I move, will they move? I hope so. Okay, let's see. Let's find out. Oh, birds. Uh, uh, damn. How are you just going to sit here <laughs> and let me run around you? What What are they doing? They're just kind of, they're eating, I guess. Oh, no. What okay, wait, is wait, this steaming load of shit? Um, what are we going to do about that? Tens of thousands of people uh, saw that highlighted on screen. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, get your <laughs> are you trying to kill the game? We may Sir... Be, uh... Altari, I'm, I'm, so I'm one of your thing. analysts. Don't worry, I've got Maybe her. they were all distracted by the 14 sure. pizza orders Steven got during the stream. Shut the fuck up, Altari. I want to hear it right now. Hey, thanks. Thanks. In a pre-recorded video demonstrating the first Ranger gameplay for Ashes. Damn it, this is really getting me going. My team just had a breakout session, and I think we have a really great solution. What if we focus on all of the interruptions? I mean, the doorbell, the phone calls, the 23 pizza boys outside the door, and we just roll with that and detract from the bugs altogether. Casting this water bolt that's really hard. This game is supposed to be spotless. No bugs, no issues. It's supposed to be the land of milk and fucking honey. And they just jericho the whole damn thing. Jericho, sir? What? You know, the Hebrews came and blew some horns or something, and Seal Team 6 came down from heaven and blew up Jericho's walls and replaced them with an iron dome. <laughs> oh, yes, sir, that sounds completely correct, sir. Avoiding the issues with memes only goes so far. Look at New World, the whole fucking case of meme. If it wasn't for their infinite pocketbook, we would have dropped them as a client on the final page. Oh, that that reminds me, sir. Mr. Bezos. It's uh, fucking Bozos. Apologies. Mr. Bozos has been messaging me. He says he has some new update with a bunch of sand and it's fire. He wants us to extend our contract to cover it. We have much bigger issues at hand. Curb that until next week's monthly review meeting. Bezos can win. Of course, sir. Wait. What if we pulled an AGX? What? On God's green flat earth is pulling an AGX. That's pretty cool. Well, you see, when and Amazon Game Studios was dealing with all of their incessant bugs, the dead servers, exploits, spaghetti code, blocked personal trades, or literally kit. anything that um, didn't work in the game. What is this first ability they mean the whole called? game. Yes. So whenever AGS did anything yeah, with the snipe. game, they uh, would publish an article or two about, earlier, about how beautiful the game like the looked, and they would like buy out one of our competition to preach about how hot it was. I would have to agree with Altari here, sir. Uh, Just look at the atmospheric cloud effects yeah, rolling over that hill, or the tower dungeon in the background. I cried when I saw it the first time. You're right. That atmospheric fog made both my eyes sockets diabetic from how sweet they look. Altari, I want you to summarize that video now. Posted by Friday. You've got it. Thanks, sir. Come on, let's go! Now. September 30th was the latest Intrepid Studios update, and boy did they show off some sweet footage of the new Ranger class, and more importantly, some atmospheric fog effects. Like this one. Or this one. Or even this one. The development team has been consistently showing improvement month over month on all areas of the game. Animations are looking smooth, UI is looking crisp and contrite, 
and that damn atmospheric fog. The dev team revealed the first look at the Ranger class and how ranged combat will work in Ashes. Personally, I love how the hybrid combat looks for a ranged at this point. I think the development team made the right choice for competitive PvPers like myself by not having free fire, but basically soft tab targeting while in action mode. As Steven explained, what soft targeting does is while in action mode, it will target the nearest enemy to the location of your cursor. In tab targeting, you just target swap and voila, as you would expect. Where this would make a difference in PvP is it evens the playing field from hackers exploiting hitscan mechanics as well as eliminating latency issues. With aiming and free firing like in New World or other similar action games slash MMOs, you must aim and hit a hitbox to score an attack. There is inherent room for cheating or latency issues in this regard because you can easily run third-party programs to aim assist to give an unfair advantage. Or you could be farther away from the server, so unless the netcode is beyond glorious, latency will affect how many hits you land in a dynamic system. By having everything essentially tab targeting, everything is handled server side and only input values and statistics will determine hits. A much better and scalable system for the large scale PvP battles Intrepid wants to feature in Ashes. Steven also elaborated on some of the many skill types that can pair well with ranged type weapons, including a time charged, templated, directional, and multiple charge based abilities. I think these will give the best of both worlds as templated abilities will still require some dynamism and skill to use while the mundane attacks will allow players to focus on other tasks like positioning or strategy be it in PvP or PvE. I could see some cool quick tiny skills that can be used with higher crit chance if you release the skill button at a certain time or sniping template abilities that can penetrate multiple targets if landed. The dev team is only starting to expand the types of skills that can be made in Ashes. We here at Altari, the professional gamer, are excited for Alpha 2 and onward. Another thing that they teased was the open world vertical tower dungeon in which multiple groups could be in at a single time. End quote. This phrase really piqued my interest. Be sure to leave a comment down below on what you think they meant by that, and we will be making a follow up video to discuss in the future. And lastly, just look at that sweet, sweet, voluptuous fog. So volumetric and epic, I'm just going to play this on repeat at my door on Halloween for trick-or-treaters because it is just that much eye candy. Thanks for watching the video and you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications on when we post new content. I stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on Twitch, so be sure to come hang out, links down below. And if you are feeling particularly generous, consider supporting us through Patreon. We appreciate the support in any way as we try to grow out the channel. Thank you consumers, and until next time, Eltari out.